Kung ikukumpara naman sa ibang bansa, mas mababa raw ang kasanayan ng mga Pilipino pagdating sa wikang Ingles ayon sa isang pag-aaral. Sabi naman ng Ched, hindi naman humihina sa English ang mga Pinoy, gumagaling lang daw talaga ang ibang lahi. Narito ang special report ni Sandra Aguinaldo. Si Aaron Fulhensio, tapos ng kolehiyo, nagtrabaho bilang call center agent at puspusang nag-review ng English. Pero sa test para makapagtrabaho sa Canada, bagsak si Aaron sa English writing. Kalungkot po kasi um, nag-invest ka na ng oras, nagawa ko na yung savings ko. And then, so, tas kailangan na naman mag-antay. We could talk to a lot of employers and they'll say they're, they're having talent challenges in the Philippines, hiring people. A lot of it is due to English proficiency. Ayon sa Hopkins International Partners, ang kumpanya otorisadong magsagawa ng English Proficiency Exam sa Pilipinas ang husay ng mga test takers na Pinoy pagdating sa English nasa gitnang antas o intermediate level lang daw, nakatumbas ng B1 level ng Language Proficiency sa European Framework. B1 is also the standard for English-speaking taxi drivers at the Olympics in Tokyo. At kung iyahambing sa inaasang score ng mga taxi drivers sa Dubai, mas mababa pa raw ang average score na nakukuha ng Filipino college students. Lumabas din sa pag-aaral na 90% ng mga college graduates sa Pilipinas hindi pahanda sa English-speaking roles sa ITBPM industry. Why is it alarming is because it's not just Philippine um, data, but there was a, a um, UK newspaper who published an article saying 90% of nurses who were already hired in the UK were rejected due to poor English proficiency result. Pero ayon sa CHED o Commission on Higher Education, hindi naman talaga humihina sa English ang mga Pinoy. The problem is the other countries in the region are catching up very fast. Because they are putting in policies to improve the English proficiency of their students, while we are not. Mas maging aggressive pa po tayo uh, in terms of education and training. We have to address the demands of the future uh, now. Kasi uh, five to ten years from now, iba na po yung mukha, iba na po yung klase ng trabaho na magkakameron ang labor market. We do agree na dapat ay uh, on the part of DepEd is to look into the foundations of uh, the instruction and learning. Uh, as student, we are strengthening now our National Educators Academy of the Philippines to equip it with the capacity to provide a systematic, holistic, and um, Uh, professional development program for all of our teachers. Sandra Aguinaldo, GMA News.